Hey everyone, welcome back to Mega Man 6. This is still on the PlayStation 2's version of the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. And we are in the first of the Wily levels. As it turns out, Mr. X was just Dr. Wily in disguise. Why? Why, why do I suck? <laughs> there was zero reason to actually get hit there. Why did I just let myself get hit there? Oh god, why did I do that? Do! Hey everybody, top tier gameplay right here. Nobody, nobody does things like me. Because they are better, and they know not to. Ow. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to kill this guy. I don't need to. So this next part, is it this part? No, okay, it's this part. This part can be tricky. And for right now, you want to start your jets. And then you want to hover all the way to the right. And there we go. It took me a few tries in practice to actually get that. Because, uh, one, you go down here for a little extra. This is an energy tank. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm an idiot. In practice, I just jetted over there because I didn't trust the floor. This time I forgot to. So there's, as soon as you get off the ladder, you actually want to just be jetting across there and not like I just did. And then you can just fall straight down to here. And uh, that's, yeah, that was pretty terrible. Don't be spikes on this wall. Okay. Oh, look at this. I actually forgot that's how you can get in here. That's full. That's full. And we're now all full. That is actually very handy. That is actually very handy because I uh, I ran out of power, I think, in on my practice run very, very close to the, to the end of the uh, Wily levels here, and uh, I will not have that problem this time around. There's no way I'll have that problem this time around. So I'm not going to bother picking those up for the off chance that I actually do have to come back through here. Alright, why am I shooting less now than I... Oh, you know what, screw this. So close. I got impatient. Alright, is this the boss that I keep thinking is was coming up? I think it actually is. This background looks familiar for it. Oh, it certainly is. Alright, this boss is very simple. Oh, of course, if you lose rhythm it can be pretty easy to screw up. You have to shoot him in the eyes, and at, oh, eyes or nose like that, but higher to the eye side, so you want to aim for the eyes as best you can. Why did that one... what? Why are some of these not hitting? Alright, I don't know. I, I don't really understand that's what's going on there, but... Ow. Come on, game. There you go. Yamato Spear makes quick work of him. Uh, that was a pretty poor fight, but... That's the gist of it. If he knocks you off, it can be pretty hard to get back into the rhythm because it's very easy to just get hit and then get hit and get hit and miss your window to get back on and get up there. But so long as you keep yourself uh, like keep calm and don't uh, don't just like spam jump to try and get in there, wait for your next window, dodge a few attacks if you need to. It's really not that difficult of a fight. I still have nine energy tanks. Yes, I do. I'm not going to bother picking up that energy tank just for the uh, the chance if I screw up and die and end up back here because I'm ever so likely to do that with how I've been playing. Alright. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is a... This is a screw. Screw that noise. Uh, where's fire? Now, it would have been pretty easy just to hop onto that and go off here, but we're going this way, because screw those blocks. And I just let myself get hit, needlessly. Ah, screw it. Damage boost through them, why not? Oh, okay, that was ice physics. I was not moving myself, ice physics threw me off. Oh well, I don't need that, uh... It was just uh, a weapon energy uh, refill, and we are still almost full, so let's grab this. That'll get our uh, Yamato thing back up nicely. That should be uh, all we need. I'm not going to bother risking going for that. Should I?
Ooh, that was kind of close. <laughs> I don't normally go for that. I'm uh, kind of glad that worked out. And again, I'm just using bunny hops and uh, and my jetpack just so I don't uh, screw myself. I don't remember what boss this is. I really don't remember what boss this is. I'm going blank. All right, this boss. This boss is weak to wind, so just get him close, take a couple of hits, and he's dead. Not really a problem. That was that. <laughs> I don't have a strategy for that, just what you saw there. Face tank a couple of hits, use an energy tank if you need to, he dies super fast with wind. There you go. <laughs> I <laughs> Not really much to say there, I'm just saying. And of course we got more water. Oh my god, I don't like this level. I really do not like this level. I remember this level. It is terrible. It is horrible. I do not like it. I do not. I do not like it, Sam I am. Why did I say Sam I am? What is wrong with me? I'm trying to kill something off screen. I don't think I need it. Uh, that's what I was trying to kill, but it was further away than I re realized. These are terrible. Those, uh, those fans. They are absolutely terrible. Because it doesn't matter where you are, they will push or pull. They will push or pull you in whatever direction. Doesn't matter. What just got refilled? Okay, it doesn't matter. We're pretty much entirely full now. I'm not gonna bother picking that up because it's just like a single shot of uh, Flame Man's power that's missing. And I am going to kill this guy. Would you stop that? I'm gonna refill my health just for some safety. Oh my God! I tried to jump to the right to begin with, and my jump did not pick up, so I almost ran into those spikes. That's what that was about. G thank you, game. I, uh, I, I did just want to sit there and get hit. I appreciate it. <laughs> I tried to jump there, but in all honesty, jumping probably would not have saved me at all. So, we have the boss rush already. <sighs> well, enjoy. And that was the boss rush. So Fireman was in fact weak to wind. Um, Fireman, Flame Man. And I was wrong when I said Yamada Man doesn't usually throw his spears behind him when he jumps. Uh, he totally did today when during that. So, oops. <laughs> and so now we go on. Now we're going on to the final, final level. I'm actually surprised how quick uh, these Y levels have gone through. That's, uh, I remember them being a little slower in my head, but uh, oh well. Oh, what just got filled? Oh, dang. I wanted specifically Silver Tomahawk to get filled there. Ooh. Oh well. Maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah, so Power Adapter is pretty strong. <laughs> if you can't tell by... Uh, oh! No, not helpful. Oh well. 
Uh, I want a Tomahawk to get filled because um, the final boss, all all fights of this final boss are weak to the Silver Tomahawk, and if I run out of Silver Tomahawk, I'm going to just switch over to the Mega Buster. But I should have enough. I really should have enough. So, hopefully I don't tank this too badly because he is... Because he, the, the, the screen is slowly, is always, oh my god, I'm being terrible, uh, scrolling forward in this in that part of the fight, uh, and even here as well, it's scrolling the other way. Uh, dodging him when he's flying at, like jumping at you, can be a little difficult. Oh, good. And I got three shots left of this. I'm using an energy tank. I'm not. This isn't going to drag on any longer than it needs to. Uh, so, so. The strategy for beating him, just pay attention to where he is. It is when it comes down to Ow, and don't walk into his shots like I just did. So, when he comes back down, what am I doing? Like, seriously, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Let's just use Night Crash. Night Crash works pretty decent, and you can. I, I mentioned you can shoot it up, so you can actually hit him fairly easily, fairly, uh, fairly easily. Uh, unless that happens. Oh my God, he really freaking hurt. Okay, I'm using another energy tank. Contact da damage on him is ridiculous. That was a lot of damage. So this boss can be difficult if you run out of his uh, like silver tomahawk. That is clear. Oh my God, I didn't hold up. It is the easiest way to, to game. Can you can you can you think? Oh, I thought it was gonna hit me. But yeah, it is much easier to hit him with Silver Tomahawk than it is Night Crush. As you can see, it's still hard to hit him when he's high up like that. But uh, that is that's Wily. That's Mega Man Six. Oh, good old Capcom times. Triumphant at last. Mega Man arrested the... You gotta love these scrolling tests. The notorious Dr. Wily and brought him to justice. Sentenced to prison for his crimes. Hmm. Dr. Wily now rules over a prison cell. Was that really necessary? Let's just rub it in a little more. At long last... Ow! The world is at peace. I moved again and my elbow said no. Oh... <laughs> so that is Mega Man 6 everyone I hope you all enjoyed I thoroughly enjoyed this game I still every now and then I come back to play it whether it's on an, an NES emulator or even on the anniversary collection now since I bought this again uh, this is it's a really it's probably my f I don't know if I would say it's my favorite it is definitely up there of my favorite of the NES uh, the NES games and uh, if you're actually pay attention here, uh, if you look at the designers for the Robot Masters that are popping up, uh, six of them have Japanese names. Uh, two of them have Western, like American names, I, I should say. I, I'm pretty sure they probably are actually American. But um, way back in the day when this game was, uh, was being uh, developed, they, uh, Nintendo Power uh, with Capcom held a bit of a contest. And uh, you would send in your designs, Mega Man, uh, Robot Master, Master designs, and the six winners were uh, were, were chosen as the six bo uh, bosses for the game. And that that was the first game. I believe they actually did this for several of the Mega Man games, but six was the first one that uh, actually had the contest go out uh, through uh, into North America at least. And because uh, it went through Nintendo Power, I believe, or maybe I'm, I'm wrong and maybe they just added that into Nintendo Power for, for that particular one, or at least spread it across. But uh, they actually accepted, so here we go, Daniel, uh, Daniel Valley, I, if I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm butchering your name, whatever. But <laughs> he's uh, like, they, they opened the, to essentially to, to world, either to worldwide or at least to the North American uh, audience as well. And so two of the winners were from, I believe they were from the States. Uh, so I don't know where. Uh, it's just this is to me. This is secondhand knowledge. I heard about this from other playthroughs and other little tidbits about the game, like did you know facts sort of stuff about the, the game. And I thought it was kind of interesting, so I figured I'd at least mention that here. Now that the, the names are actually scrolling through in these bosses, 
but uh, this was a great game. It was a favorite of mine when I first played it, and I didn't first play it until like 2000, 2001, something like that. Like I was, I was in like ninth grade in high school when I played this. I got together with a friend of mine uh, who I met in ninth grade. Uh, shout out, uh, shout out to him. You know who you are if you're somehow watching this. I don't think you are, but you know who you are. And uh, actually, if you're watching this, I want my la copy of la Lost Odyssey back. <laughs> But, uh, anyway, <laughs> I played it for the first time over at his place, he had it for on the NES, and, like, we actually spent, like, I, I can't tell you how many how many hours we actually uh, spent just hanging out playing this game through and all that there, and it was really, it was a lot of fun, and this is actually, that game back in the day actually sparked my interest into the Mega Man games again, and that's when I actually really went back and started looking at the, uh, at the earlier games again, and then when when this particular version of the game, the uh, the anniversary collection, uh, was released in like I think it was two, I'm pretty sure it was 2004, I jumped on it. I bought it back then. I played the crap out of it. I played through all the Mega Man games on it because I hadn't played at the time. I still hadn't played like Mega Man 4, and I'd never beaten Mega Man 2 or even Mega Man 1 back then. So I played the crap out of this entire game, and I loved it. It was so awesome. And then I was stupid and traded it in uh, at EB. Don't do that, guys. Don't keep your keep your games. It's much better for that because years now, a few years later, when you decide that hey, you want to revisit the old game, you can't anymore. <laughs> but anyway, maybe that's just me. But uh, I specifically went back, went online, and I, I bought this. I think I found it on Amazon, like this copy of the game, and I bought it now for the second time, to, so I can do these playthroughs on this channel and just so I can like hold on to it, enjoy these games again. So that is really all I gotta say on this whole thing. I talked through pretty much the entire credits on that about it, so thank you all for watching. Thank you uh, if you've uh, if you watched this through and enjoyed this, let me know in the comments, and uh, we're about to go back to the anniversary collection menu here, so I should really shut up and get out of here. So once again, thank you all for your support on this, and hopefully you'll come back next time, which I believe the next game I'm going to play on here, at least for this block on my channel, will probably be Mega Man 7, but uh, that may change in the in the weeks to come or in the weeks to come in time to come i'm not sure check back maybe mega man 7 will be up next week maybe not i uh, uh but anyway until next time take care you here